Uh, okay, so you see the last uh, graphics display there about the budget 2018 and the OPEC decision last week. Uh, now some of our viewers are, are reacting, joining the conversation. Thank you very much for uh, sending this to Olani Waju. Omoya says the OPEC numbers are not a worry because at the moment we're not even at 2.1 million uh, plus condensate yet. Uh, Egina will take some time to even reach these 200,000, so we should be okay uh, in 2018. Thank you very much for sending that uh, in as far as the, the OPEC conversation and the budget 2018 deliberation starting this week or resuming this week at uh, the National Assembly. Let's continue with the banks. So we're talking about the tight goings out and see the true nature of banks in 2018 with uh, Omatola Bimbola, the investment analyst from Afri Invest. So uh, we've got yields beginning to trend lower Correct. and that's will let it go. Then central bank becomes more accommodatory, uh, more dovish in yeah. 2018. So when all this go out of the banking sector, what will be there for us to see? Let's trade the banks into the new year. Um, I, I think the decline yield environment is going to create some winners and some losers. The winners will be the Tetsu banks, who have been battling with high cost of funds as a result of the tight monetary policy. So with the declining yield environment and you know, improvement in liquidity in the financial system, we should see uh, cost of funds gradually inching downwards you know, for the Tetsu banks, and that will be positive on their, on, their interesting, on, their, on their net interest income. However, for the Tetsu banks, they are arguably you know, going to be the losers uh, because uh, for them, they already have low cost of fund, but they've been able to realize so much more from their asset because of the high yield environment. They've been and piling up, they've been piling more, more, more securities. government securities. So, and as yield starts declining, that's going to you know, um, take a hit on their interest income and possibly their net interest income as well. A very quick question from one of our viewers. He says, says what can, on Twitter, he says, what can we do to get banks geared towards more venture capitalism, uh, venture capital, instead of the interest-driven banking we have now? Um, I, I think uh, banks are also economic agents, and typically they respond to incentives and disincentives, right? So for banks... Fair enough. So for banks to be able to take a much more longer-term perspective in terms of creating assets in the economy, uh, the incentives have to be right in terms of the risk landscape for the banks. That are they sure that you know the risk they are creating, the longer-term risk they are creating, are they sure that the risks are viable and we and we give them you know viable returns? So for them to do this, I think government has to deepen reforms in the real sector. We need to see improvements in you know uh, infrastructure to make businesses more competitive and make, you know, real sector more appealing to banks to lend to. That's number one. And then, government has also stopped crowding out the private sector, right? So we need to see, you know, both, both shifts happening for banks to to be able to create, uh, uh, you know, more risk in the economy, more, more risk assets in the economy. Uh, very quick one. Yes, that's tr still trading banks into, into the new year. Do you see the 50 Naira per share in the banking sector in 2018? Do you think we're close? Possibly. I think we are close. What will drive that? It's, For, it's, fourth quarter earnings, budget 2018, ERGP, what? It's going to be either of two things. Either earnings, you know, if earnings improve in Q4 and possibly by Q1 2018, that's going to, you know, be a catalyst for markets return. And if we see further expansion in valuation multiples, if we see the uh, macroeconomic landscape, you know, further improving, um, if we see GDP growth returning to the high, you know, to over five percent, if we see FS liquidity further deepening, that may lead investors to further reassess their pri the pricing of the Nigeria of Nigerian assets, you know, and probably, you know, uh, lead to expansion in valuation multiples. So, if we see earnings expand. That might possibly, you know, drive, drive uh, the, 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 uh, the uh, pricing sentiment, the pricing sentiment uh, on, on, exactly. on, on the part of. Uh, okay, we'll, we'll have some time in the future uh, before the year ends to talk about the dividend side of things. Sure. Uh, where they, we couldn't get out to that today. Uh, sure. Omar thank you very much. Do have a very great week you, uh, ahead of you. And that's about all for today on your business morning. Goodbye from Lagos. I am Boston Amafai. I'll see you tomorrow.